Hi, welcome to online tutorial videos from JCBRO Labs. For more information, you can visit us at www.jcbrolabs.org. We also provide online training, help in technical assignments. We also do freelance projects based on data science, Python, machine learning, etc. So if you have any such requirement, then you can let us know by contacting us through our website, which is www.jcbrolabs.org, or you can also mail us at info at the at jcbrolabs.org. So in this video, we will learn how to program our ESP32 uh, development kit or development module using Arduino and DAC2 on Raspberry Pi. So uh, let's start. Uh, we have our Raspberry Pi and we have connected the Raspberry Pi to LAN and then we are accessing the Raspberry Pi through this remote desktop application uh, from, our uh, from our Windows system. So this is the IP address of uh, our Raspberry Pi and we are accessing it through remote desktop connection. Okay? And here we have our ESP32 board. So it has two LEDs. One is power LED, this red one, and this blue is the programmable LED, which is connected to pin GPIO pin 2 of the uh, of this uh, uh, Raspberry uh, uh, GPIO pin of this ESP32. So if you can look at it, development kit of uh, this ESP32, here it is. And okay, here is this, and here we have our second LED which is programmable okay so let's maximize it okay okay so now in order to and okay prior to that Arduino has been installed on this Raspberry Pi and it is working perfectly fine now prior to start writing code on Raspberry Pi for ESP32 we have to install some board uh, libraries and there is a procedure for that so you can follow it we have to first go to file and go to preferences and in preferences we have to add uh, this particular URL address from additional board manager URLs so these particular files are provided by this ExpressIF which is the original manufacturer of this ESP32 okay so uh, this URL you can also write it down and the link is also uh, given in the description of the video okay once you write it then click OK and then go to tools and then you have to go to the board managers okay so click on here board manager then in the board manager uh, okay uh, let it wait it out it uh, start searching for some of the things so first of all you have to type ESP32 and then there will be uh, this link uh, ESP32 by Express IEF system you just have to install it okay so it is already installed on my Raspberry Pi so that's why installed sign is currently appearing here so if you are doing it first time then you have to click here install then the corresponding board related files and everything will be installed on your Arduino file on your Arduino okay then we will close it and then because as you know we have to choose the board so go to tools and then we will choose the board so here ESP32 Arduino we have to select this ESP32 dev development module so it is ESP32 dev kit and uh, uh, dev kit uh, which we, uh, we just shown you the uh, for a diagram of that okay and rest are by default automatically adjusted now another thing is port number so you have to assign the corresponding port number to your uh, this uh, ESP32 board so on my system it is connected to Dave TTY USB 0 okay so once these are done now we can start writing our code okay so what we are going to do we are going to blink uh, as a test program we are going to blink this LED uh, at uh, some interval so that will be a very basic program okay so first of all we will define the LED so define LED 2 so it indicates we are defining the GPIO number pin number 2 and we are making it as a uh, variable LED and then 
Programming is similar to as we used to do in Arduino for Arduino boards. First of all, we have to type in mode and then LED comma because it has to be output type. And we will also sending the data to the uh, to serial port as well. Okay, so uh, I have uh, pressed Control S, so it is asking for saving a file. So let's save it on desktop and let's change the name to test underscore esp32 okay and then let's save it okay so it will save on desktop now as i said we i uh, will uh, show the status of the led on uh, serial port as well so we will type serial dot begin and we will be use 96 one one five two double zero as a baud rate now uh, writing or blinking a LED program is very straightforward. So we will write digital write, then LED comma high. So it will make it high, and then we will provide. Okay, we will send some data to serial port as well. Print ln. So we can type LED is on. And then we'll pro pro provide some amount of delay. Let's for one second. So this delay, you know, gives uh, a delay in millisecond. That is, uh, we are using one thousand. <coughs> now we want to uh, stop it. So we'll write digital write LED comma low. And then we will type serial dot print ln LED is off and then delay so our program looks fine now let's download this program on this esp32 so for that you just have to press this upload button okay so let's press it now it is compiling a sketch generally it take a little longer time for compiling uh, when you compile it for the first time okay, so it is uploading done upload okay so now uh, this LED is blinking at an interval of one second okay we can also click on serial monitor here it is so as soon as this blue is on it is saying LED is on and off okay so that is working perfectly fine okay so let's try to change the time duration or the delay time for which it is on and for the time for doing its off time so let's make two seconds and then run it again okay so the code is being downloaded into esp32 now the things are happening at an interval of two seconds okay so now on for two seconds off for two seconds and on for two seconds and off for two seconds okay so it was very easy they are just uh, configuration you have to create okay or there are certain procedure you have to follow at the first time uh, when you start writing program for esp32 on arduino okay so i hope you learned a lot uh, from this video and you will try to create a uh, interesting project based on this esp32 so that's it for this video thank you Further, we also provide online training, help in technical assignments. We also do freelance project, industrial project based on data science, Python, embedded system, machine learning, etc. So, and we also provide a thesis support for PhD guidance and MTech or BTech uh, or graduation level thesis support as well. So, if you have any such requirement, then you can let us know by contacting us through our website, which is www.jcbrolabs.org. Or you can also mail us at info at jcbrolabs.org. So that's it for this video. Thank you.